So yeah. what was what is the difference you feel between Milano, between this side, northern side of Italy in Udine? Yeah. Okay, so ah well I was living in Milan in a very big block of flats in a very big city that mm-hmm. had terrible, tremendous pollution mm. and a lot of smog. Smog. And when I came to Udine, and I, it wasn't actually, these people lived in a, a village called Pagnacco. It's in, it's towards the hillside. It's very pretty. It's just oh, outside. It's 10 kilometers from Udine. And I could see the mountains and the mm-hmm. snow. Of and course. it was so clear, the air, and so sunny and so pure. So I thought, oh, I like looking at the mountains. Maybe mm-hmm. I, will, I will stay here for six months or one year hmm. Hmm. so I didn't have a plan to stay you didn't have long plan to stay no uh, one year I thought you know and now how many years passed 30 more, or less? more than 30 29, years 29 Thir- 30 years 30 no, years yeah yeah I, I I think 32 years now if you think about it like that was 1990 so so after so many years living here in Italy in northern Italy but I don't live in Italy I live in Friuli Friuli is in Italy. Mm. <laughs> Friuli is in Italy. Northern politically, part. politically, mm. it's Friuli. Friu- politically, it's in Italy. But I mean, in terms of culture, uh-huh. it's not like what. What is Italy anyway? We can have this conversation. It's a long conversation. But 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 certainly, I think Friuli is Friuli. Friuli is Friuli. Another kind of culture. Another kind a of language. A little bit different. A little bit different. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, so, do you feel yourself Friulian? Or Italian, or Australian, or mix. A bit of a mix. I think a probably bit a, a bit Friula, Friulian, mm-hmm. and very Australian. I think I'll always very be Australian. Australian. Yeah, but I, I definitely when I go to Australia, mm. I understand that I'm more European. Oh, okay. So I think yeah. Do I feel like I'm Italian in the sense, in in all senses? No. No. But I do feel like my sensibilities are European, for sure. Mm -hmm. And people say to me in Australia, I've had people come up to me in Australia, in in the street, and say, you're European, aren't you? Mm. You know? (laughs) So something's... I, I think that we become a blend of the places. We become like a special cocktail or a... A luxurious blend mm. of all of our experiences. Of course. Mm. Yeah. So I don't. Yeah. I. It depends what bits of Australia that I identify with because I don't identify with everything Australian. Okay. But when I lived in Australia, uh-huh. I didn't know anything else, and I felt a stra- only Australian, do you know what I mean? But when you learn about other cultures, mm-hmm. you cannot unknow what you know, you cannot unlearn what you have learned, right? Oh, of course. So it changes your mindset a little bit. So a bit more. Uh, yeah, it, it changes. Like so Always. I don't feel like a normal Australian. Do you feel like a normal Pakistani? I feel myself a little bit changing in myself, but majority of the part I feel, of course, Pakistani still. Yeah, but how long but, have you been here? Uh, as compared to you, it's just 10%, 3 yeah. years. You were in here 30 years. Yeah. There's more time. And I had my children here, and mm. my children went to school here. Okay. And I had a chance to look at the Italian education system. Hmm. And I've had a chance to see how the institutions work. And I've mm-hmm. had a chance to understand how everything works. So when I go back to Australia, mm-hmm. I feel more like a, a foreigner. Foreigner. <laughs> because since I left Australia, everything's changed as well. Mm. Like politics has changed government policy has changed culture culture has of course it's changed Changed. nothing is fixed in Mm. nature nothing yeah yeah of course so 
I've changed, but I know that there are certain things. So I don't think there are absolutes, mm. but I know that it doesn't make any sense to me that people don't know about other culture. Mm. It doesn't make any sense to me that people don't want to know about other culture. Mm-hmm. And we're, your parents were totally, both were Australian. They both both had Australian citizenship, mm-hmm. but both of their families, for every generation, were Irish. Irish, okay. There was, yeah, my family is strongly, has a strong Irish identity. Background, yeah. Irish background. Mm. Kind of, what kind of difficulties or what kind of destructions or difficult phase you face in Italy when you arrive here in Italy? did I face well what under- kind of difficulties as an immigrant as an immigrant okay I, that's a really good question because I'm pretty sensitive mm. to issues of immigrants and the problems that they face okay having worked teaching asylum seekers and immigrants in Australia mm-hmm. and in England that's a very big part of my professional vocation mm-hmm So, when I was teaching in Australia, I saw people's struggles pretty close up. I had students and friends Mm -hmm. from Iraq, Iraq, Iran, Kurdistan, Syria, Israel, Beirut, the people who were the asylum seekers, Eritrea, Somalia. You teach all of them, these nationalities also. You had the one class. I had a woman from Bosnia. Okay. Whose husband got taken at Srebrenica. You know, I mean, I had stories of trauma as well. Oh. Wonderful people. Highly qualified people. People who were displaced by the political events in their country. Political events, Yeah, and economic, but very Mm. much political. So I was very aware of that, Mm -hmm. of their experience. But it... What I didn't expect, so when I came here, I expected that things would be different, Mm -hmm. but I didn't realize the extent to which that institutionally and culturally, Mm -hmm. that Italy, I hadn't thought about this, but Italy had never had immigrants. Before? Yeah, it didn't. I mean, after the war. I mean, Italy didn't colonize a country in Africa successfully and have a lot of interchange between cultures. Mm -hmm. Whereas a country like France has had people from Indochina or North Africa, for example, or or colonies Mm -hmm. in, in, in Africa, Francophone colonies in the Pacific and Indian Ocean. There's a lot of different French colonies around the world. So it's not so abnormal in France to find people having immigrated from the other colonies. Colonies, yes. Whether or not you agree, I don't want to talk about what I think of colonization but mm-hmm. at the moment, but the fact was that France was quite accustomed to having people from different culture. And in, in Holland, in the Netherlands, there's always been a lot of people from Suriname or maybe from different um, places where the Dutch had colonized Indonesia. So they have a lot of people from Indonesia living in the Netherlands. In the Netherlands. Okay. Uh-huh. And so we can talk about England. You know, in England, there's people from Pakistan. It's mm-hmm. the norm. It's the most course, normal thing. Course. Yeah, yeah, of Okay. Course. And there are... As I was saying last week, you know, the Prime Minister, the, the Mayor of London is Pakistani. You know, they've got yeah. in, in incredibly high positions in politics. Mm-hmm. People from... Because it's normal enough. I'm yes. not saying that it's all been this, an easy road mm-hmm. or that they've had the same chances that someone like Boris Johnson had. Mm-hmm. But just that people can make their way and have... It's, it's normal enough. It's not an unusual thing in 2022 to say well the the chancellor of the exchequer his Mm -hmm. and the foreign minister they are 
from Pakistani background, or maybe not Priti Patel. She's not. She's the Interior Minister. She but I mean, Indian. Yeah, yeah, Indian. But I mean, she's from an Indian background, so yes. her family were immigrants there. Of course. But you don't see here hmm. in the Interior Ministry. You don't see somebody with an Irish surname in Italy. No. 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 Oh. Or you don't see. Norm, it's it's normal if you go to an American university or you go to Australia that the head of the department is from India or can be from another country. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Italy, maybe people would like to follow our people who are Italian nationalities or Italian backgrounds. They don't want to people immigrants in government different positions. No, but they're not used to having immigration. They they haven't realised that you can have. It's very unusual. Unusual. Yeah. I'm not. I'm, I'm not saying it doesn't happen, but it's it's fairly unusual. But in the government ministries, I'm not sure if there are people with Albanian backgrounds or you know or rare or, to find. Yeah, I think very rare to find, if rare at all. Find, so yeah. I, you know, I don't know, and that's and I think that that's a, as a direct consequence of Italy's 